Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, it's time for us to be a little messy. Who is ready for some messy news? And who we talking about today? We gonna talk about Diddy Boy, 50 Cent and his baby mama, Daphne Joy, all right? So you know how 50 Cent is. He loves to troll, and he don't give a damn how nobody feels. He's gonna troll. So you know this whole situation has been going on with Diddy, all right, for the last, what, month or two now? And in the amended lawsuit, Daphne Joy name was added a legend that her and Carisha Please, a.k.a. Young Miami, was S-workers. Shit, she looked, she, it's probably true. It looks true, all right? So I had to swing over to Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent page, his Instagram, to see what, what kind of shit he's talking. So he took to his Insta stories and said, I did not know. You was a S worker, LOL. You know he's shading his goddamn baby mama. Now, this is the baby mama he was obsessed with. Because, I, I'm going to say allegedly, but we already know. You know, he got a son about, what, 24, 25 years old? And he was not in his life. And I remember his son going live, you know, making videos, you know, posting all type of shit. Because he just wanted you know, 50 cent to be a part of his life. And he was just not there for it. And it's sad. So now he's trolling his baby mama. He's feeling some type of way because she was one of Diddy girls, Diddy boy and his Diddy girls. So the Diddy girls is Carisha, AKA Young Miami and Daphne Joy, right? So Daphne got wind of this post that Mr. Curtis, AKA 50 Cent, AKA Jackson shared. And this is what she had to say. Everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wreaking havoc, frenzy and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Shy was the one in handcuffs for nothing? We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son. And you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived one mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never even earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of R-A-P-I-N-G me and physically, ooh, A-B-U-S-I-N-G me. You are no longer my oppressor and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. So 50 Cent over here trolling his baby mama because he cannot get over the fact that Daphne was a ditty girl. All right. So Mr. 50 Cent got wind of what Miss Daphne Joy had to say about his ass and he didn't like it. And here's what he had to say. You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me. But I was busy. <laughs> so you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little S worker. Child, 50 Cent don't give a damn what he said out of his goddamn mouth. 50 Cent got to be about 50 years old. So I don't even know why the hell is he carrying on like this. He is hurt behind his baby mama. Because let me tell you something, when a man has moved on and he don't give a damn about what his baby do no more, you don't hear him speaking nothing about them. And he's speaking about her. Because remember when he was done with the other baby mama with the 24, 25 year old son, he may be older. You didn't hear him saying nothing about her unless she mentioned him. 
But this one right here, this whole situation that's going on with Diddy and allegedly Daphne and Carisha being S workers has nothing to do with 50. But 50 Cent want to get in on this trolling and he has something to say because he's hurt. He has always felt some type of way about Diddy. But you know, allegedly, Diddy offered to take 50 Cent shopping. I, child, I don't even want to research on that. Y'all drop down in the comments. Did y'all hear that? This whole situation is just sad. And I just hope that all parties can find a way to heal on 50 Cent end. Because he's the one that's hurt, you know. <laughs> Again, men don't carry on like this unless they is hurt. Daphne, girl. Slide in my comments. I want to talk to you. In other Diddy news, Lil Rod amended his lawsuit against Diddy Boy. Now, what he added was Young Miami, a.k.a. Carisha Please, was the one who flew a private jet to bring Diddy Boy some paint cocaine. And some video footage obtained by the shade room shows the time stamp of young Miami allegedly getting ready for a photo shoot around the time that she was supposed to be on this private jet taking this, you know, cocaine to Diddy Boy. Now you do know with the iPhone that you can update your dates and your times on your videos and on your picture. So young Miami girl, what is this proving ma'am? Is you guilty ma'am? Huh? in the comments is saying uh uh we remember that song young mom Amy had about her boot playing Diddy boy and we remember her saying this I'll never snitch on you daddy never I'll hold a brick for you daddy uh, I'll talk Smash on a bitch for you, daddy. Girl, Carice, you can't fight, girl. This whole situation is just funny as hell. But please believe they going to court. I believe Diddy ass is going to court. And young Miami girl, you are gonna be subpoenaed to be a witness for the prosecutors. And baby girl, all this tough, tough shit you be putting out in the streets like you tough and you bad girl. I want you to have that same energy when you have to go in this damn courtroom and face your zaddy and let them know that you was the one on that private jet, allegedly. Y'all drop down in the comments. What y'all think about this whole situation that is going on with Diddy Boy? Do y'all think he's going to court? Do y'all think he is going to prison? Now, this whole situation is just crazy as hell. And it's crazy that it's being brought to everyone's attention now when this has been going on behind the scenes for years. Some people are speculating that Diddy is a sacrifice for the people who groomed him. Now, I did hear two names being thrown out there. I heard Clive Davis and somebody named Robert Burt. Allegedly, those are the two men that has been funding his extravagant lifestyle. Y'all drop down in comments. Let's talk about it.